the dark saber. It belongs to you. It does now. Hello, hyperdrivers and fellow collectors. My name is Jeff, and I thought I would share my latest piece that I got in. I got the Moff Gideon Premium Format from Sideshow Collectibles. There is 750 pieces, and I got 134 out of uh, 750. There is no EX on this, so this is it. It is $600, and it's still available. Uh, looking at the art box here, we have a picture of Moff Gideon on the TIE Fighter. This resembles the actual piece itself. Got a nice little uh, sky blue background to it. On the sides, it's got the traditional black and gray striping to it. And on the other side, it's more of a drawn picture of Moff Gideon. The base on it, just to keep in uh, mind that it is a double A battery uh, on the very bottom of it. It takes three double A's. And they actually did send these with it, but I don't trust them. So enough talk though. Let's get, let's have a look at this. Now that I've got it all assembled, I am really happy I made this purchase. I, when I first ordered it, I was on the fence of whether I wanted to actually order it or not. But now that I have it in hand and it's all assembled here, I'm really impressed with it. There's a lot of features that I did not take uh, into consideration. I didn't realize that the actual dark saber lit up until I watched the unboxing video. And also his chest piece does light up. And it, I totally didn't realize that it lit up so uh let's get into the measurements on the base though because the listing on sideshow is not correct due to the dark saber's length how, how it sticks out so the tie fighter base is 11 and a half inches but the dark saber as you can tell is sticking out further so you're looking at probably 17 18 inches eyeball on it for the depth and the width, the base itself is 12 and a half, but it does stick, again, it does stick out, for, the dark saber sticks out further than the base to the side. So 14, 15 inches. And the one thing that they did get right though, is the height. It is 19 and a half, maybe 20 inches is a safe measurement. Uh, let's get into the base. I love the look of the TIE Fighter. It reminds me of, you know, the end of season man, uh, Mando, season one of Mando, how Mando took down him and the TIE Fighter and he's, you know, climbing out of the wreckage. There's a lot of broken glass in the front. It looks really good. Uh, different smoked effects to the glass where it looks like it's, it's been, had been smoking. The base for the TIE Fighter here there's a lot of rippling into the sculpt where you can it makes it look like it was all damaged and bent up there's different various like mud markings maybe from it hitting the ground 
The paint on it is excellent. There's different tones. It doesn't all look monotone. There's a lot of scuffing and wear. On the back of the TIE Fighter, you can actually see the glass ports, and they're cracked from the impact and hitting the ground. Really fantastic base. Now, moving up to Moff Gideon himself, he's got his standard Imperial boots. Nice flat black paint with a nice sculpted uh, leather effect on the front here. His pants have a another uh, similar flat black with a red pinstriping up the side. You can actually see the difference on the layers for the pinstriping. The pants actually look are sculpted. The, the pants have a nice sculpt to them. Sorry, and the fabric, as you can tell, is rippled throughout his uh, pants, so it gives a real look and look to it. Moving up to like his tunic, same flat matte black, and then you can see different waves in the sculpt where it creates a fabric look to it. His belt has a nice distinctive red top and bottom striping, with, and you can see his belt buckle clearly. Uh, moving up to his chest piece, kind of reminds me of Darth Vader's uh, chest piece with a nice glossy black, and then you got a distinctive the white and blue striping there and of course the light up feature on it is very very nice I, I totally didn't expect it uh, his cloak is a wired cloak it's fabric some people hate it actually it, it, I like it a lot on this because you can pose the cloak how you want and give it some variation oh going back to his blaster it looks really good in this holster I almost was thought that maybe you could take it out. It would have been nice if you could and then maybe make an EX out of it instead where you could hold his pistol too. Uh, the cloak, as you saw in the uh, opening too, it has two uh, metallic um, holders on the back and then the two pins slip on the, on the top of it. Uh, moving up to his portrait, this is where a lot of people I know were saying that it didn't look good. It reminds me of him, uh, Jean, Giancarlo Esposito. I have trouble saying his name, sorry. Uh, it reminds me of him. I think they did a good job. Yeah, it could have been better, but that's so commonly said. It, it really reminds me of him. I like how they actually drew in his little mustache and everything. His, his portrait's on. I like it. It looks really good to me. Uh, the dark saber, it really lights up well. I was surprised about the light up feature on it. I saw it in the uh, unboxing, and then I realized I, I didn't. I totally missed it. The dark saber does, you know, look like the actual hilt itself, and they did a good job with that. With the grays, the the rib, there's a you can tell the difference on the black and the grays on the hilt the handle itself and it lights up well and when it's off you can actually see more where's the button there it is you can see the, how they created a, the like the lightning kind of effect on the blade more of it so you, it still it still shows when it's lit but not as much they did a good job on it. I'm really pleased with this. I'm glad I purchased it. Uh, it's still available. You can still get it now. Uh, if you've made it far, this far in the video, I would appreciate if you could like, subscribe, and uh, turn on notifications. Let me know what you thought of uh, Moff Gideon. And I'm so happy with this. Have a good day.